My name is John Cook. My friends call me Johnny. And during the last year, I developed this glass bottle cutting and sanding machine. It eliminates a lot of the problems. I was tired of losing my best bottles, scoring and taking them swimming in the hot and cold water. This really does a great job. The machine uses a rotisserie motor to slowly rotate the bottle while the cutting head, which is mounted on a Makita angle grinder, while it actually cuts the bottle safely and then dresses the bottle when it's done being cut. The bottle is supported by a roller assembly, two soft rollers, and they're adjustable for the diameter of the bottle up or down. And you can see that yellow rubber band. That yellow rubber band keeps tension on the bottle and holds it down onto the rollers so that you can concentrate on the cutting function and not have to worry about what's happening to the bottle. Another thing that I've included in the machine is a pickup tube that picks up the glass debris and the dust. It's a connection for your shop vac. The last thing in the world you want is that glass dust flying around. And I also incorporated a plexiglass shield between the operator and the actual cutting function. On the end of the cart, I've mounted a sanding platform. It uses a Bauer sander that actually rotates at 650 RPM. It's perfect for glass. We also supply the sanding discs. They're made up of aluminum oxide, hook and loop, and they go on the, the, the Bauer sander on the disc, and they really work great. I get about 10 bottles out of, the, out of the disc. I think I have about 30 hours in building the machine. It's really easy to build. I mean, th th this really didn't take a lot of work. It represents about a year's worth of engineering changes. And one of the big things I think is important is the, the plexiglass safety shield. As far as the glass cutter goes, you know, you can use a Bauer, you can use a Makita or others that you can get from Home Depot. You can adjust the roller assembly up and down to compensate for the, for the diameter. But pretty much other than that, it all works the same. I think you're really going to enjoy the rest of the video. Watch the sanding part. You don't want to miss that. The platform is adjustable for the length of the bottle. It's adjustable every inch. I actually have black plugs in the hole to protect from debris. You can also reposition a black arm that holds the plexiglass shield for larger bottles. In the next minute or so, you're going to be able to see just how adjustable this bottle cutter is relative to the length of the bottle and the diameter. At the end of the video, I'll give you a little bit more information, but I think this is really a great machine. I'm really happy with it. Time for a little sanding. We're going to do two bottles. Watch till the end. Oh, notice the shop vac connection to pick up the glass debris and dust. We're starting with a new aluminum oxide sanding disc. They last for about 10 bottles. The cart has wheels on it. I like to wheel the platform outside and sand and cut with the wind at my back. When I'm done sanding the bottom of the bottle and I dress the outside edge, I use a round piece of wood with a wrap with the sandpaper to do the inside. Sanding causes a lot of debris and the vacuum picks up most of it, but it's important to wear a face mask, safety glasses, and earplugs are very helpful. When you're done sanding, use the shop vac, unplug it from the pickup tube, and clean up the area. We're almost done. Hang around to the end of the video and you can see how you too can make this great machine. You can go to whatsnewjohnny.com and you can watch me cut in the next three or four videos this group of bottles. They go from a standard wine bottle all the way up to a large Costco vodka bottle. 
There's a couple of tequila bottles in the mix. And, you know, I think you really enjoy that. But remember, you can get the plans, you can see finished projects, and you can see me cut these bottles. And visit the project video section. I think you'll really enjoy your time there. And please be sure to subscribe and hit like. Thanks again. Thanks very much for watching this. It was a lot of fun to do.